Hey guys, Urkasonis here, back in our video. In this video, we're gonna remake this just kind of style baseline that I used in this new track, where Mesto can feel it, and in this other track, Grapevine. So, the final result will sound this. So, now let's dive into the preset. If you're on this preset and for more other presets in this style, make sure to check the link down below. There's a preset pack in there with all the presets you need to make this kind of music. So, now let's get the presets. Sounding like this. So first of all, selecting the for us in the A, we're gonna go for the E for long reads. Sounding like this. It's quite a gritty wave table with on three octaves and a wave table around here. So then we're gonna shape F one. Like this. Then we're gonna aim the filter to shape the sound a bit more. Because it's way too gritty right now. As you can hear the filter will make quite a difference in the sound already. So cut off all the way down. And you have to find a sweet spot for the envelope. Now we're gonna shape Asler B, so we're gonna go for the basic MOOC to get a more MOOC kind of feel. So lower down to reactors as well. And select FM from B. Shape the sound a bit more like this. Right to the filter. And that's it for us later, so now let's dive into effects. First of all, we've got a hyper animation just to open the bass sound a bit more with a dimension. No hyper. Sounding like this. Now we're here some down sample to bring up the high frequencies a bit more. Just gonna hear sounding like this. Now I'm gonna add some chorus effects. Just a little bit. Then some OTT to bring out the sound a bit more. We're gonna use it quite heavily, so I'm gonna bring on the gain around here. And lower on the highs quite a bit. Now we're gonna shape the sound a bit more with the EQ. So basically we're only gonna bring down the highs a little bit. It's a bit boomy, so here so we're gonna cut it just a little bit with the envelope and then the last thing we're gonna do is add some reverb and delay to the top end of the baseline because no one any lows in our reverbs and delay so put a low cut quite a bit save for the delay and mix them properly Sounding, I guess. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add some more punch to the bass line. So, or an envelope 2 to the chorus bass of both oscillators. Make a really short envelope. It's like one way. As you can hear, as you can hear, this will make the bass a bit more punchy. So, in the track, it sounds like this. And that's it for bass line. So, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you see more, hit the subscribe button. And you see y'all in the next videos.